Whales. Sentient. Social. Their ocean and intergenerational home for millennia. This is the story of Kaholo and her family's struggle with humanity. Plastic is a very bad design idea. It's ridiculous to take a material that is going to last for hundreds of years and use it only once. What we do specifically with plastic, we make the wrong things perfect, and then they are perfectly wrong. A fishing net stays in the oceans for hundreds and hundreds of years. Our house is still on fire. Your inaction is fueling the flames by the hour. You say, just leave this to us. We will fix this. We promise we won't let you down. And then, nothing. The amount of plastic in our oceans is astronomically high. When you're out on the ocean, you don't see it at all. These giant gyres. So this is stuff that's swirling in currents below the surface. Kahola and her family feed beneath the surface of the waters. Now, they are confronted with another insidious threat. Microplastic, tiny fragments and fibers you can barely see, from the surface to thousands of feet deep. A 78-foot dead blue whale have washed up on the southern Oregon coast. Officials say it's unclear what killed the whale. We're now in the Anthropocene, the sixth major extinction. This little tiny layer of when human beings existed on Earth, it'll be like a plastic confetti. The Anthropocene, the Plasticine, that's us. Kahola and her family are the guardians of the oceans. What we do to the oceans, we do to ourselves. If the oceans die, we die. It's as simple as that. <laughs>